Hello everybody, so today I have a new video. I'm just gonna be talking about the makeup products in my current rotation and giving some current, you know, some reviews. Um, kind of a haul, kind of just talking about what I'm into, what I think of these products, what I'm testing out, things like that. Also, I have a new background. Um, I am in, other than that, I'm in a new building. I moved, um, so I've been very, very busy, which hopefully explains just the lack of videos. I was in a really good groove and then I kind of lost it. So honestly, let's hop into it. So the first product is the Embryolis La Cream Concentrate. So this is, I feel like this is an old school makeup fave. I feel like I always heard about this back in the day. And I ordered this off Amazon and I was just curious about trying it, it because like one of my biggest concerns right now is my skin is very like, I don't know if dry is the right word, but I just feel like there's a lot of texture. There's a lot of like, um, I don't even know the word, like it's not dry, but I just feel like it's very combination right now and it's like kind of preventing um, my skin from feeling like super healthy, super plush. So I was curious in trying this. I find it to be very similar to the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base in the sense that it's like a moisturizer, but it leaves such a like thicker, not thick, but just it has a bit of a like you can definitely feel where you've applied it and it feels very moisturized. It feels like there's like kind of a smooth canvas while also being moisturizing. It's very light, it absorbs super quickly. So I have been enjoying this. It does have a um, like really delicious jasmine scent, like a really light scent, which I actually do like. I mean, I don't need scents, but I do like it. And I was just intrigued to try this. I feel like, again, it's such a OG classic. So that was what I was interested in. But yeah, I don't know if I feel like super strongly about it. And I would like to compare it a little more to the Bobbi Brown one, but this is what has been, I've been testing lately. Um, some more, another product I've been testing is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. And I have this in the shade Porcelain. So I also got this off Amazon because I don't believe they sell this at Ulta. It's only on their website and Amazon. And I saw Jen Phelps talking about this in one of her recent videos where she described her favorite drugstore products or her favorite product from each drugstore brand. And this was, I think this was one of them or it was a product she used to really like from it. But she compared this to the Tom Ford stick foundation, which I thought was really interesting. And I just really wanted to try it. And I also really haven't had a stick foundation ever. And I do like the idea of like the convenience of them. So I was just intrigued to try. I think overall, this is pretty good. It has good coverage. Um, it feels pretty light. It blends well on most parts of my face, but I do feel I'm still working on the best application method. I think it works best with your fingers to just apply really small amounts and then work it into the face. I also think like the, um, like base you have on really makes a difference because I don't know, I just feel like some of the bases I've been using, I haven't really liked it with. And even when I apply it on my hand, maybe you can see this, I do feel like it kind of emphasizes like lines. Like again, I'm not sure how visible that is, but it does like get in the lines. It doesn't like blend away super smoothly. So I don't know, I was kind of intrigued by this. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I really want to like it because it has such good reviews, but I'm not sure I'm there yet. So those are the two products I'm sort of testing out and still like wearing quite often and you know, seeing how they fit in my collection. Um, some other products that are like really everyday uses are the Chantecai future skin oil free gel foundation in alabaster i talk about this all the time being my favorite foundation ever it's really expensive i got it for i got it pretty 
discounted off of Flip the app because they had a like referral discount for a while and I took advantage of it. But this is just the most skin-like finish. It looks amazing on the skin. It doesn't make your skin look super oily. It has a super light coverage, but it doesn't like, you know, it still has like enough to even out the skin. It has enough to, um, it doesn't make it oily. I just really like it. Even I feel like you can kind of see the difference in how that sits on the lines of the skin versus the wet and wild one. So this one is just so much smoother and I mean, I just love this foundation. So I use this like almost every day. If I'm not doing like a full coverage look, this is the foundation I'm using because obviously this is not full coverage, but it's so good. And I often mix it with full coverage foundations too, which just shows how, you know, universal this can be and multi-use. So I really, really love that foundation. The next product I've really been using is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have it in the shade Madeline. And this is another product. I feel like this is very highly hyped up as a really good spot concealer. And let's see if this will swatch well. I do really enjoy it for spot concealing. I had a lot of success with it using a like fluffy brush on top of pimples and the reason this was so like useful this past month is because I was you know working a lot and dealing with a lot of work commitments like I didn't have a lot of time to get ready in the morning because I was like out the door at 8 a.m coming back home at 10 at the earliest and I had a lot of breakouts and my skin was not at its best and this was just a really good product so that was an absolute favorite um, another product that I really like this past, past month and has been on my rotation is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Instant Wrinkle Blurring Press Powder. So this is probably my favorite powder at the moment. It perfects your base so much, like it very much smooths it. It um, blurs the skin, like it really is a perfecting powder. I would use this as a base and really just love how my skin looked underneath it. And it's just, it's a great, great product. I mean, I just feel like you can see how smooth that like patch of skin on my hand looks. Like that's a combo of like the foundation and powder. And I just think it's so good. So this is like a huge favorite as well. I also don't know if all the colors are available at Ulta, but I think I got it off of either Target or Amazon and I absolutely love it. Another favorite is the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Bronzer. So this is kind of supposed to be a dupe for the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. And I apologize, this is like grimy, but that's just like what happens. This is not a hair as well, this is a little crack in it, but it is a glowy cream bronzer. I'm gonna swatch that. And it just has a beautiful sheen to it. It blends really nicely and sits on the skin nicely and doesn't look like a like um, a super heavy like cream. It just adds a nice warmth to the skin. I will say like I do think this is a bit of a warm tone bronzer. Like in all honesty, it's probably not the best shade for me, but I had really wanted the Makeup by Mario one and I felt that this one was a lot better of a price. And it's like, I didn't even know if I would like the formula or anything. And final thing, I had swatched the Makeup by Mario one and found that one was super warm too. So I was like, honestly, like, let's just go with the cheaper one and try it out. I really like how it looks on the face. It's just a light cream bronzer with a lot of glow. And I feel like a lot of cream bronzers can sit very heavy on the face. And just like, it feels like if you like rub it your face, you can rub off the bronzer. And I do not feel that way about this. Um, the next product I've been using a lot is the MAC Glow Play Cushiony Blush and Blush Please. This is a sort of like warm pink shade. I think it's just a good like neutral blush bronzer shade. I do think it's like pretty warm and it's definitely something I'm probably gonna be like phasing out at this stage of the year just cause it's getting colder and this is like super warm and bronzy. But I feel like for the summer on tan skin, this is a lot of fun. These blushes are super easy. I love that they're like a cream, but not like 
you know, a real cream. Like they're very easy to apply and blend out really nicely and are sheer, but add some color. So I'm a big fan of that formula. I've been enjoying it a lot. Those are the face products that I've been really enjoying and we'll run through some eye, eyebrows, stuff like that. So the first product I've been really loving for brows is the e.l.f. Wow Brow, but particularly in the shade Blonde, I think, Taupe. So this is a little light for my brows, but I think it's just a really good um, color for like filling in the brows and just adding like um, a more solid like base. Like I love running this through my brows and again, using it to just give it color because otherwise I just think my brows can look quite sparse. My brows are kind of gray. So this is again, a little bit light for them, but I think it's better than like having a too deep brow gel. And again, I've just been enjoying like the ease of a brow gel like this rather than having to use like a powder and a gel on top. I think this often just performs better. And I've been noticing like sometimes with some of my brow pencils I've been using, like I guess I'm putting on too much product maybe, but it just like will sort of pill up. So I find a lot more success with brows, like a brow gel like this. The next product I've been really using is the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner in Graham Cracker. So this is one of their new shades. It is a like warm medium brown and I really wanted this to help create like smoky looks on the lash line in a much easier way than like blending out a powder. Um, and I, I enjoyed it. I think this is fine, but I just, in all honesty, like I, once this is done, I probably won't repurchase it. I think it's a little bit warm. It doesn't perform like super well. Like often I feel like I have to do a lot of different like strokes of this to get like a solid line and even then i feel like there are some like patches and it just doesn't look great but i did like it again for like the ease of it for this past month in my life like that was definitely what worked for me it was needed it was enjoyable i'm glad i tried it but i think i still am on the hunt for like a really good liquid liner that is a like taupey brown or like cool tone brown that's lighter that's my dream <laughs> The last product I want to highlight is the Maybelline Lifter Liner in the shade Fine Line. So this is like gone super viral and I bought two shades. I think Fine Line is my absolute favorite. This is a My Lips But Better color. I know I, I feel like that's always what I say about lip liners, but this is truly one of the first lip liners that I think matches my lips in a flattering way. Like I feel like I can overline with this. Um, I can't deal with like my double lip line, my like faded lip line, two-toned lips, which make it really difficult to do like lip looks because this is just like a deeper shade of my lips. Um, it's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's pink enough, but not too pink. It's not too brown. Like it just works really, really well. And I've been enjoying it a lot to kind of finally be able to feel like I can line my lips and do lip looks. That has been like a real struggle for me. So yeah, I don't know, that one has just worked out. So anyways, that's the end of this video. Kind of like a mishmash of like new products I'm reviewing, products I have used, products I've been loving. Um, but mostly it's just all these products that are in my rotation. I feel like I reach for these all the time and I'm testing out certain ones um, and I'm excited to use them. So that's kind of what this video is and I just thought it'd be a good one to like come back on and just kind of sum up some things I've been using and I've been up to. So that is all for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.